Hi everyone, this is Tasty Bento. I'm the author of the Bento Box plugin along with a few other folks and also the greenhouse add-on. I'm going to teach you how to make some greenhouses and as you can see I've got a bunch of them here. You need to use glass blocks to build them. So make sure you've got four walls. You're allowed to have up to I think four doors and of course a roof. So cover your greenhouses with glass. If you're wondering what type of greenhouses you can make, type in the island greenhouse command. You can see you've got various recipes that you can choose from. And I'm going to be showing you how to make a few of them. And the one which I'm on right now is the beach. So that requires one block of sand and uh, just a little bit of more than 50% water. Actually, 50% exactly would be fine. Okay, so I'm in here and you can see I've got the water here and I've got the sand, so I've got definitely more than one block. And I've already made this one. So moving on, I'm now at the tiger greenhouse. Now this one I have not actually created yet. And it is actually gonna be a three wolf moon forest. Okay, so I need three grass blocks, uh, three spruce logs and three spruce leaves and then ice blocks which will be greater than 10% of the floor area. So this one is going to be, the best way to do this is actually just to grow a tree and then build your greenhouse around it and that's exactly what I did here. I, I also cut off some of the leaves to give it some space. Once you've done that then you also should add your ice blocks. I stuck them at the top here and you could use ice uh, or blue ice or other types of ice. And then the other thing which you can do is add in a hopper. Now the hopper is used to be able to grow things on the grass or snow. And to do that, you need to fill it with some items. And the two items that you can fill it with are uh, water buckets. And you can also fill it with bone meal. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's head out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it rain and you'll be able to see the snow start falling inside the greenhouse. Just get a good view here. And there we go. You can see it's raining outside but it's snowing inside. And that snow has been generated by those water buckets that you can see actually if I go back to the hopper, you'll see that they are actually have been emptied and if you wanted more snow to be made then you'd have to fill it up with some more water buckets and I think that some of you would be able to work out ways to automate that and it's really driven by the actual weather so they will only be used when it's actually raining and it will generate snow bit by bit. Now the other thing which you can add is bone meal and when you add bone meal, it will be used periodically to grow grass or other plants, special biome plants in, inside the greenhouse. So, welcome back everyone. And uh, as you can see, I have got some wolves in my tiger biome here. And uh, they don't seem to be bothering the cow too much, which is good. Anyway, getting back to making a uh, greenhouse. So let's let's make actually an interesting one. This one is going to be uh, nether based. And let's have a look at the recipes. Okay, so we've got the regular nether, so we could make that. That's definitely possible. Uh, we've got soul sand valley and we've got crimson forest that looks like a, a pretty nice one and all of these spawn different types of different types of animals or, or mobs so I tell you what let, just for simplicity i'm going to make the uh, oh there's warp, warp forest so we've got, we've got a whole bunch of these uh actually i'm going to make warp forest so we've got warped nylium and netherrack well i've got netherrack already i just need warp nylium so let's let's get some of that. Okay, warp nylium, there we go. And uh wait, wait, what's happening there? Warped nylium. Uh, sometimes this happens when I'm recording it, it kind of like acts weird. So what I'll do is I'll stick some there. 
that's uh, that's more than enough. Oh, there we go. All right, so let's make it greenhouse. Successfully made warp forest. Great, excellent. All right. So what I'll do is I'll now it's warp forest over here. So this is one of the issues with biomes in 1.16. Actually, it pretty much started from 1.13, but uh, biomes unfortunately do not work exactly on block boundaries. They're they're kind of a bit sort of they're kind of a bit uh, randomized. And uh, so if I if I go here, you'll see that sometimes it's plain, sometimes it's warp forest. And in fact, what you'll find is that the biomes may actually extend out of the greenhouse. And uh, there's nothing that can be done about that, <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, so you, you get some blending, so you can actually see the, the grass here. You can see that some of the taiga uh, biome is actually blending out here. You can see this different color. And, and that's basically how the biomes work. And you can see there's a, there's a slight different change here. Um, and unfortunately that's really can't there's nothing that can be done about that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wait a while and uh, see what spawns in my nether in my warped forest and hopefully something interesting will spawn <laughs> look at you oh yeah there we go look at that and we've got some striders hey and an enderman so isn't that great now you can totally customize exactly what will spawn and in that case a lot of them spawn uh but uh there you go that's uh oh no look i've got a, a squid in there so um yeah there you go that's uh that's uh, that's uh greenhouses i hope you have fun and i hope that explains how it all works